Hi there people, this is MSM. I hope you had a lovely Christmas. Um, I did, I got some lovely presents and I wish you a Happy New Year 2015. Okay, so that's that. Okay, so um, you probably noticed I haven't done a video in over a month and the reason for that is, uh, is I actually spoke too soon last time when I said that there was a silver lining in my cloud uh, because I caught an abscess in my left calf um, following a flu I caught in late November and I'm going to tell you more in detail uh, in this video uh, you know it's been stopping me from walking from working driving and doing all sorts of things and it's been incredibly painful and it's been a pain literally and figuratively so yes what happened to me was uh, right after I shot my video, my last one in November, uh, I think it was the last week of November, I caught a really bad flu. I was homebound. There was nobody around because my parents were on holiday. My friends kind of live far away and, um, you know, I had to, you know, drink water, eat soup and stay in bed, basically. During this flu, I caught some pimples over my body, which, you know, were a little weird. I also got a nail bed infection. And, okay, so you can still see the scars on my chin. I actually caught two pimples here. The nail bed infection was on this finger, and you can still see a little bit, it's a little bit pinkish, the discoloration is still there. And one of the pimples was on my leg, my left leg. And um, I just uh, looked at it and thought, well, this is the sort of thing I never call, catch usually. So uh, this could be because I'm on Celsept, the, you know, the immunosuppressant drug. And it could be my, uh, you know, the, that my immune system is not strong enough to defend itself against this sort of thing. I must have, you know, caught some kind of bacteria thing. And um, they were not going away. And uh, my cell sub pres prescription ran out uh, during the time that I had the flu. And I just thought to myself, well, I'm going to try not taking it for a bit to see if things improve. Um, I just took the opportunity because I was seeing my neurologist the week after. So uh, I saw her on the 3rd of December and told her about all of this. And uh, she was a little reluctant to, you know, let me go without the medication for a bit, but she accepted and I told her that, uh, you know, that uh, this sort of side effect was something that I was not um, wanting to have and I didn't want to go on and I wasn't even sure the medication was doing, was preventing the MS symptoms for me. So, you know, I just told her that uh, I was ready to, you know, have the possibility of a new flare and uh, take the risk and, uh, you know, give up cell sept for a bit and see what happened. She accepted and, uh, you know, she also saw my calf and uh, which was getting more painful. Uh, at this point, it was uh, stopping me from walking properly. I was walking on the tip of my toe. It was getting a little red and hard and swollen and not in a nice way, you know. So uh, she sent me uh, downstairs to the people who, you know, examine uh, vein troubles like deep vein thrombosis and they looked at my leg you know they did uh, an exam i actually took two specialists to see if you know my le my veins were not uh, in trouble nothing was related to my veins so they told me you know look at it in a few days and uh, if things don't improve do an echography and uh, I was sent home thinking it was to do with my muscles, which didn't make very much sense because it didn't come from, you know, moving because I was stuck in my bed. I didn't move around or anything. So I just thought my theory back then was that uh, I sort of had a cramp in my bed and it wasn't going away. And so anyways, I did do the echography on the Monday after, which was uh, the second week of December. But the doctor that uh, did my echography uh, looked at my leg and she said, well, you know, don't you think, you know, there's a possibility that this pimple you've got here could be a point of entry of a bacteria inside your calf and you actually have an abscess. And to me, it looks more likely than, uh, you know, a muscle injury. And at this point, I, I looked at her and thought, well, that's m this makes much more sense than DVT or, you know, muscle injury. Uh, is perfectly feasible and she told me to go see my GP straight away which I did. Uh, he told me that uh, it would be more reasonable to just go to the hospital that evening and possibly to stay overnight and get some antibiotics injected. 
So I went to the A&E, spent the evening there. Uh, I left at about midnight, I think, yeah, but uh, because I didn't have a temperature or anything and they looked at my blood test, uh, they didn't see anything that was wrong at this point, even though I was in tremendous pain and I couldn't walk properly and I, was, uh, I wasn't feeling well. They did send me home with some antibiotics and pills. After three days, things didn't improve, so I went back on the Friday and that was mid-December, I think I think it was the 10th. And uh, this time they kept me overnight and they operated me on Saturday. Did get some antibiotics injected. I got some antibiotics to take later on. I got a huge amount of painkillers and I went to the pharmacy to get the biggest order I've ever had of anything I've had to you know, take from a pharmacist before. It was literally a bag full of stuff. So I've had to have a nurse coming into my house every day since then. And this is going to go on for about probably over two months from now on. Uh, I've been told that it takes a hell of a long time to heal. Um, I've only started to not feel that much pain anymore when they clean it. Um, yeah, the very first day after the operation, because my mom uh, used to be a psychiatric nurse, she actually told the surgeon that she would be able to take care of some injection I had to do and also changing the plaster. And uh, it was a really bad idea, actually, because it was Sunday and we removed the plaster, which was soaked in blood, which is horrible. And um, the piece of gauze was in there and we were confused as to what to do. So we just left it in there and it was a huge mistake. The morning after I called a nurse, um, so we would have someone professional to take care of it, and uh, he told us that uh, it should have been changed because uh, that meant the piece of gauze was stuck uh, in the wound and it was the most painful thing I've ever had done. It's basically, you know, when you've seen these um, war films with the guys who get shot and then someone comes in with, uh, you know, uh, some kind of tweezers to take out a bullet, uh, you know, without anesthetic or anything like that. So it was just like this. The guy actually had to scrape the residue of uh, gauze that kind of disintegrated into my flesh, and it was the, uh, you know, it was it was horrendous. Uh, but now I'm able to go through the cleaning and plastering quite okay. Uh, fortunately, it's getting better, but you know, uh, it's it's been such an ordeal having to deal with this. I I didn't think abscesses could be so painful. I just thought, you know, um, I would have a pain in my leg and that would be it. But it kind of radiates all over my leg and it stops my muscle from being able to stretch properly. So, and uh, I'm going to have a nurse probably for a long time now. So yeah, I'll definitely keep you posted. Um, hopefully, <laughs> I wouldn't. I shouldn't feel any more pain to do with this thing, but you know, it's definitely been a Christmas present I could have done without. And uh, I'm hoping that 2015 will be kinder to me and to all of you guys as well. Yeah, so anyways, uh, my next video will be probably um, the footage of my wound. This is for those of you who are into the weird side of YouTube and who are not faint-hearted because it's actually quite gnarly. Um, it's like someone took a cookie cutter to my leg. I'm not going to go into details because it's kind of gory. If you are into these sort of things, do check it out. If you're not, just by, by all means do not look. Um, as usual, do, do not hesitate to make a comment. I'm really interested in your feedback, whether you're dealing with MS or you have a relative or a friend who is. And I really appreciate it if you subscribe to my channel, although you do not have to. And I'll speak to you soon. Singles!